this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I want to show you how I made this card. It's a really simple card. Let's get started. Uh, I have a two and three quarter by four and a quarter inch piece of white, a three by four and a half inch piece of black, a four by five and a quarter inch piece of designer series paper, and a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of black. And then I have my card base, which is thick, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. Okay, put these aside for a minute. And we're just going to use this piece to start with. We're also going to bring in matte black dots. I'm going to use memento ink and you for this card, I used blends. I used light night of navy, light balmy blue, dark daffodil delight, and light old olive. But I also did one that I did with just these Stampin' Right markers, just these three markers: Pacific Point, I think it's old. Oh, Granny Apple, and Daffodil Delight, and that's this one. It's just those three markers, and I just flicked out the color from the center to make that darker and lighter color. So you can use whatever marker you wish. Okay. I'm also going to be using a scoring tool. Um, I'm actually going to bring in this one because it fits in my space better. But whatever scoring tool you want to use. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do... Let's do the scoring first. That way we know where to stamp. So I want to, I don't know if you can see the scoring lines here. I want them to be here and here. So I'm going to start with this top edge. And I want to flip it over because I want them to be pushed up. If you do it on top, it's going to look like this it's pushed in. Okay, so I want it flipped over and since I want it to be here, I'm going to need to start at the bottom. So I'm going to go over two and start at a quarter inch and I'm going to go almost to the bottom but not to the bottom. You can go all the way if you want. That If that makes it easier for you, that's good too. Then I'm going to go over one eighth of an inch. I'm going to go a little bit shorter, about a half an inch shorter than that one. And over one more eighth of an inch, and again about a half inch shorter than the one I just did. Okay, then I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm going to do three lines again. This time I'm going to go from the top because I want it to be from here to here. Start at a quarter inch, go down to about a half an inch, go down one eighth inch more, and again. Okay, so that gives you those. That's what it looks like on this side, and now on this side, that's what I wanted those raised lines. Okay. Now let's bring in this so we can stamp. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment first. It says best wishes and happy thoughts and I forgot to show you what stamps that I'm using. I'm using nature's prints. I'm using this stamp and this sentiment. Stamp my sentiment over here. And I need to see if this is going to be straight. Just like that, I think that'll be fine. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to bring in the flower. I'm going to stamp that over here. 
probably should have my sentiment over just a little bit more, but I think it'll work out fine. Okay. I got a little halo there, so I might put one of my gems there. Alright, so for this one I'm going to go ahead and use the blends. I'm going to start with the dark, the light of na uh, light night of navy. And I'm going to flick out some color from the bottom. doesn't matter which end you're using, I'm just opened it. Then I'm going to do these ones too the same way. And I'm going to come in with a light balmy blue and I'm going to blend that in to the end. I think this is almost out of it. I need to order another one. Let's see if the other end. Yeah, it looks a little better. Sometimes one end has a little more ink in it. Depends on how it was sitting on your... I try to keep them flat, but there we go. All right, now we'll take the yellow, the Daffodil Delight. I'm going to do that center. I'm just tapping that color in. And then the green, light old olive. Just doing this little piece here. And then I traced this stem Just so there'd be a little continuity. And that's all the coloring. Now we can bring in our pieces. We can put this together. Okay, so we're going to layer this piece, which is a two and three quarter by four and a quarter inch piece of white, onto the three by four and a half inch piece of black. Okay, we're going to turn this over. We're going to put some dimensionals on the back of it. Okay, this is going to get centered on the four by five and a quarter inch piece of designer series paper. This is the new in color um, six by six designer series paper. We're going to center that up on there. Okay, then this is going to get adhered to the black layer. Black layer is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then this will get adhered to the front of our card. Now we'll add some of the dots. Now you could maybe add a bow or something. I didn't particularly like it, but you could add a like a bow. Whoops. That looks nice too, but I I don't know. I just something about it. I 
didn't love, so I didn't go with the bow. Where's my take your picture? Oh, there it is. Okay, so since I only have a few small ones left, I'm gonna use two big ones. Put one down here to hide that boo-boo. Put one up here. And one small one. Go. There's our card we just made together. There's the one I did previously. Well, thank you so much for joining me today at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.